Hello, and welcome to episode 9 of Let's Play Crusade Kings 3 as the Byzantine Empire. Last time around, we conquered this place in Italy. I think we did. Yes, we did. This duchy here, the Duchy of Salerno. We gave it to this guy. He's an Orthodox Lombard. How can I change the culture of this guy? Because I noticed one thing. We have a culture map mode here. We have some problems with those counties, which I own here. Those two. They have Bulgarian culture. And I I guess that is... This is more due to county control. But I wonder what is the deficit of having the wrong culture. I built this up here. which, But it's quite useless now because I have such a low control in that county and that's a problem I guess it, they have a less lower popular opinion of me because of my culture group as well as me being in an offensive war twice it seems like everyone hates me because of those offensive wars I can't really understand what that, why that is it seems like my country though is quite well controlled. People like me. That has to do, for example, with me being such a long long ruler. That is good. I wonder if I should do this. This gives me extra vassal opinion, but I... This could be good. do you get opinion from prestige in this game? It doesn't seem like it. Or if, if I go to my feudal vessels. There isn't a plus from prestige. Like in Seeker 2, if you had 2000 prestige, you capped out on uh, well, opinion boost from prestige. You could get an extra 10. You got 1 per 200 prestige. Instead we have this level of fame, which I guess, yeah, it gives us a secular opinion. So if I lost those 800, I will probably lose one level of fame. And I get about 3 prestige per month. 800 divided by 3, I have no idea what that is in my head. That is 800. This is 266 months divided by 12. That's 22 years. That is a huge prestige loss. But the thing is, you, I can't regain that from... That doesn't take into account uh, events that happen that give you prestige. Of course. So what has happened here in Bulgaria? We have this guy here. The Dallinger. Kenneth. He is... He's like the one of those guys, the Cans. The he is Orthodox though. He's a Bulgar. He's he's a Turk. He is allied to a count. He has a truce with the king of Bulgaria. Bulgaria is really weak right now. That's the thing. We have crippled this Tengri guy. And he's actually defending against one of my dukes. And he's helping in an attacking war against Lothringia. He has like a truce against everyone. My vassals is in increasing the borders of this country for me, and I love that. If we look at the de here. This is like what we want to conquer first and foremost. As well as conquering those places we need. For example in Carthage, Alexandria and Antioch. We need Venice as well. How much would I need to take them on? I think Venice is, they have an incredible income, I thought. The thing is, I don't know if there's a special Republic ma uh, republic like playstyle yet for this game. Like they were in CK2, they ha we had uh, the DLC that had in playable republics, merchant republics, and they had, s they usually can just get a lot of money. But he's quite, that is quite pitiful actually. 
And personally, I would love to take out Venice. Sort of, sort of, as a revenge for what Venice did to Constantinople. Do I have truth with this guy? I don't. Could I attack you? I could. What's happened to my piety? It seems like I'm never able to have any piety, which means I can't wage holy wars, and that's really annoying. How long is there left to, until we have Cass's belly? 12 years. Could we increase that somehow? That's the wrong map mode. We need to go here. That one is really good, but... Different culture opinion that would offset some of the things having people of other opinions inside the, inside the country. Cleric opinion. Okay. And nothing here has to do with fascination or development. This would increase my health. That would give me extra development, okay. How old are we? We're 52. Our wife is 48. We're still not able to kill her. Because we're locked to do it for another 7 years. That's a stupid mechanic. I hate it. She's useless to me right now. She can't make babies. Her stats are extremely mediocre. So. That's a bad thing. Okay, so what should we do? He's actually fabricating a claim of the county of Apulia. Where is Apulia? Here. Okay. And it's going to be done in two months. I have some prisoners. Which I... I that's the wrong tab. There it is. Which we could ransom. Who are you? He's my vassal. I could get a hook on him. This is the same guy. And I guess this also. This is also one of my vassals. Although he's underneath that guy. But I'm, I'm going to get the favor on it. I like that. Keep it up. The thing is. This is just spreading here. I hate it. I got this big blob of Mandy in here. And I want to raise it. And to do that, I need to make that guy convert. If I made him like me really much. Could, who am I currently swaying? This guy, okay. Great. Because I need to get a hook on him, otherwise I just need to increase my... His opinion of me. I really hate that. It looks ugly. I want this count here. Probably keep on going. He likes me. I have a hook on him. I haven't really played around with this. To be honest, it's quite new for me. We already have high fuel taxes with this guy. That's a minus 15 of his opinion. That offensive war thing. I, I, I don't like that. I, I don't understand it. I don't like it. Okay, so these are innovations. That seems like a Roman thing. But Palatinate. It makes me think about the Palatina gods. Which used to be the protectors of the emperor. Of the... Emperor Constantine disbanded the Praetorian Guard. So we have one guy left. It's still in this tab. Two guys actually. 
we could ransom this guy for another favor with this guy. Yeah, sure. And who are you? So this guy... An important courtier, although this person is actually the son of this guy. This is almost like Stalin. He doesn't like his own son. It's kind of peculiar. <laughs> it's such a blow to your face. Your father doesn't want you. Okay. Uh, that's not my problem. So we, get, we got a claim on the county. Sure. Can we attack this guy now? I guess. Is that here? It has quite a levy. For some reason. He wouldn't become my vassal. Because he's a different faith. Because he's a Catholic. Otherwise, he would almost have plus. Okay. I wonder about this guy. How far off is he? How does this count as remote? Where I'm just directly across this water. I wonder how they cal calculate this. Like how much... How far away does he need for that to start happening, or how far doesn't? If I, for example, if I had Rome, would he accept vassalization, or would I need to take Corsica? I have I have no idea. That's the thing. I don't know because they don't really tell us, and that's a problem. I need the information. But well, I guess that's just something you have to deal with. This guy not being able to join us of his, of his own will, I guess. We just have to take this island by force. Because I like it in here. We should probably attack this guy. Oh. That, I would get the entire duchy though. But I will lose a lot of... That means I only get one extra county for a difference of 600 prestige. I gain one extra county. Yeah, sure. Uh, let me see here. What is a short kick? There we go. Um, race everyone here. Did I actually move that one? No, I didn't. So, there we go. Race all. I do something with my men at arms. I could increase their size later on. Seeing, seeing as I have the income, it's not a problem. He's probably going to go attack my like capital once again, as every every other guy we have attacked has ever done to us. Or just going here. Whatever. He wants to do, I guess. It's okay. I think he's going to go for Constantinople again. We actually managed to catch him though, that's a good thing. Managed to roll a one. We killed the entire army, we captured a mayor. There is the barony. Are you important to the war school? He's not. So we could probably just ransom him. This mayor. Seeing as he's one, he won't be my vassal. He's gonna take the money. He doesn't want that guy. He's just a normal courtier. Okay. He's going to go here, siege this down, bring my army left back to my own counties. And that's going to be it. Greetings, I accept your offer. Thank you. I love that you're able to do that. And then you take those home to some place with the best supply level. 
I killed off his entire levy. It's not going to be a problem. It seems like our religion is losing a lot of fervor. I fought. We actually have a lot of fervor right now. Is this guy seriously incapable of having any secrets? Can I, can I bribe him? That would only give me 13 opinion though. That's useless. I want to... That's awful. That's such a bad thing. I should probably just disband those. Because they're costing me money. And this is going to take two months. And then we're probably going to win the war after we besiege this town. Okay, so now he's Swede. Would he accept a conversion? He's a local leader of a heretical sect. So we have plus. Okay, so we have more minus than we have plus. So we probably need to increase his opinion even more. Oh, interesting. This is probably going to take some time. But okay. I'm just waiting for, as I said, I'm waiting for this. I just need this. Then I probably need to go t for a city planning. So the only thing stopping us from this is actually the year, not actually or the science we have researched. It's only the actual year. And now this war is over. Disband you, and then I probably need to get rid of this to someone that isn't me. This guy is slightly younger, though. There we go. He won this. Battle, I want to take this away. We still have a low country control, county control in this place. We were trying to increase that, and it's happening quite rapidly. I don't really care about that. And these are just holy wars, and they're going to cost me the, the, the little piety I actually have, and that's the problem. We managed to increase that slightly more. Now, who could we attack instead? He's actually allied to one of my counts. He's an orthodox, but he will not accept this. But that is ugly. Those borders are just ugly. I want that. Conquer the entire boot of Italy. I need to. It's like it's important to me to actually control that. Otherwise, that I w just want my borders to look pretty. That's that's part of the reason why I just want, don't want to go and siege down Alexandria or Antioch and Rome. I want to conquer them the normal way, which would make my borders look even better than they would if I just took those places by on their own. On that subject, could I attack you? Yes, but I will need the holy war. Or I had this cla guy's claim. We have a claim on Cyprus. But that would cost me a lot of prestige. If I had the Euro claims, I wonder what the difference between them are and these other claims. I guess we just have to find out. But okay. Start up the time here. Fronts are just blobbing out, it seems like. Stammer of West France. He's a learned guy though, but he's useless when it comes to military. Nothing is really happening here though. East France, Bavaria. 
some wars are happening. Kasaria, their, their borders is just ugly. I never really care about what happens. Like, this is just a cluster. As is this. So we have we have we have a new independence faction. That was the wrong one. There it is. He's too weak. We only have one guy. So your father is dead. And this is the new guy. And he doesn't like me. Okay, why doesn't he like me? He's a lunatic that probably has to do something with it. No alliance as a clan, clan wassail. He's a foreign culture. I'm deceitful and he doesn't like my fancy wars. Okay, I guess that's the reason why. We have those Mandean populists. Yeah, I know. Mandean guys. I just don't want those. Yeah, and of course he's a member. I need to make this guy a normal, orthodox, faithful guy. I just need to convert him. And that's gonna take some time. I guess. I only played 22 years. A new translation. More than anything, my quest to be a learned man is teaching me how much I do not yet know. What more, there must be so much knowledge that has been lost to the ages as books fall apart or languages are forgotten. Like the knowledge of the ancient Romans, for example. Perhaps, perhaps I could contribute by making a new translation of one of the classic works. Although, what would I even translate? Um, what would this give me? Maths or... I have no idea what that is. I just take this one. What else can we do? This is still being increased. We can imprison guys. I don't really care. Probably because they're fornicators. Because all of those seems like women. Yeah, she's a fornicator. I don't really care. I don't really care. How is my family going? Who are your guardian? He doesn't have a guardian. He's 10 years old and he doesn't have a guardian. I probably should... The thing is, we used to get pop-ups about those in CK2. That's the problem. Um, he's an intriguing guy. He's actually quite good all around because he's a genius. He's a genius. I have a genius grandson and I don't even know about it. Um... He is rowdy and temperate. It's really... Yeah, I shall go for it. Um, back to sea. I want someone with a good in education, preferably. Like this guy, he's an elusive shadow. And physician. And vengeful. Calm and callous. That sounds really good trait though. This guy seems to be worse though. He's an honest, intriguing guy. As well as being paranoid. <laughs> this is actually kind of peculiar. We take this guy. And we make him the guardian of my grandson. This guy. Do I have any more grandchildren that I doesn't know about? For example, her. She's a woman, I don't care. Um, he actually had a granddaughter. That's not really. This is my heir. He has a son, a grandson of mine. He needs a guardian. What would I like with him? He's a rowdy. Marshal and intrigue. 
which one would I prefer? I would probably prefer Intrigue. So if we can take that same guy again. This guy. And offer him another ward. Which I seemingly... C uh, probably because he's waiting to accept the former one. So if we go to him again, we can probably offer him one ward more. Is this the one? Yeah, I think. He's going to make my sons into intriguing, scheming guys. I like that. That's always a good thing. I want my sons to be able to kill me with the scheme and take over the empire. No, it doesn't. But still. What other choice do I have? Yeah, so this one is disbanded. That's a good thing. Could I kill this guy? That's the thing. People probably should, doesn't like him because he's an... He's my steward though. And he's awesome. I don't want to kill him. And this guy is also Mandian. So it wouldn't be it wouldn't be a difference. So you said a new guy that's Mandian instead of that guy. That's irritating. That is... Your borders are really spread out. I'm having the notes my translation of the elements read back to me when... My lord, please forgive me. But did you fall asleep? Heavens above, this classic is a piece of absolute drivel. This is not really a problem because I have... I'm able to work out. I just have to wait for... May. Doesn't, don't I have a quick physician? Yes, I do. And I paid a lot of money for him. What? Is there something else I can do here? We could host a feast. For a lot of money. Could you go on a pilgrimage? We should probably go for... We go to Jerusalem. That's a good thing. Probably need to... As I prepare for my journey, I know that I will travel safely under the protection of God. While I go with the Lord, my realm must wait, however long I may be gone. Go on a pilgrimage. Notify me. I probably should have done this earlier, when I, when I come to think about it. My vassal managed to win a war, it seems like. This is his turn. Cluster. It seems I have not taken well to all this travel. Perhaps it's a strange land filled with unfamiliar air, or perhaps my furs are not warm enough. This is a desert. Either way, my cough has been persistent for weeks. And this morning I could barely muster strength to get out of bed. Do I even have the strength to continue onwards? How is my health? It is poor. Go on, this is pilgrimage. I probably could die now, but I don't really care. I find myself working on the translation of the elements for hours under the flickering light of a candle. Often I will barely notice time passing. My scribes remind me, however, my lord, it must be past midnight by now. Is it time to rest? Probably just go with this one right now. If we wait for wa for May, we could work out and lose some stress. Which would be a good thing. Come on, just find me a secret on this guy, so I could make him a normal Orthodox Greek guy, and I wouldn't have this problem. Pilgrimage, oh Jerusalem, Jerusalem! No other city in the world has quite a history quite like Jerusalem. In addition to the ma many other holy sites there, the city contains the Church of the Holy S Sepulchre, built over the combined places where Jesus was crucified, buried, and resurrected. 
Standing outside the Temple Mount with my hands on the western wall, I find myself reflecting on everything that happened on my journey to the city of legend. Yes, I became ill. I gained the trait Pilgrim, which gives me extra monthly piety, and I gained a lot of piety. I ga gained the seats of bishops. I have walked the holy path. Which is a great thing, I guess. I like that. My hook expired. Okay. That's probably a bad thing, but I, I don't really care right now. Pilgrimage the return. My journey has been a long one, but I have finally come home again. While much remains the same, something has changed in how the priest and bishops treat me. I have undergone the journey of a holy man, and the, the insist it has changed something about me, whether I can see it myself or not. It's good to be home. I could probably work out now to relieve some stress. Yeah. I lost 24 st stress. That's a good thing. But yeah, guys, I'm going to take a break here. So, like, subscribe if you enjoyed this video. See you soon.